Should I ask? Yeah. All right. What are they for? Uh, for bashing things. So yeah. traditionally, a woodworker might use them for like chisel work or putting pegs into the frames, things like that. But people buy them as door stops or anti-burglar tools by the front door. Anything really. <laughs> Kids buy them for bashing pans and making lots of noise. So. Uh, what was the traditional tool is now just something I need to have around the house. So, so it's not rude, but... No. <laughs> just to give me things to get twat, really. Well, that's a word you don't come across no, very often, is it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's different oak. types. Um, oh, it's some oak, oak, some oak's oak harder wear. wearing. Yeah. Uh, oak. Willow is a bit softer on the hand, so if you're going to give something a really big twat, then you is it very well? Is it very well? No, I say it's more well. just traditional sort of woodworker slang, really. Oh, right. like if something's not going in for you, you've got to give it a good twat. It yeah. so it's just woodworker slang, and it's turned into our passes for twat. Like the workshop tool. I like it. I yeah. like it. So where do you get your wood anywhere particularly? Yeah, from the forest near Canfestinyog. So I live. Oh, right. Near Can Flyna for Senior Campus. Oh, right, really I manage a bit of woodland there. So it's, it's all there ready for you. Yeah. And it's not raining this morning. No, it's a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. You can ask a lot, do you love? And if you could just yeah, sing, you sing, a sing a song. Yeah, then. good on yeah. you. You tell it what to do. <laughs> so start with a log. Yeah. Any log you like. This is a bit of willow. Then I'm looking at the log for like the best side for the hammer. So I think that top end is a bit fatter, so that'll mm. make a good that'll make a good twatter. That was my first twatter, that's made out of a bit of hawthorn, it's basically a giant club. So if I'm knocking two bits of wood together, that tends to get them where I need to get them. That's one I made on a lathe. Out of oh, a... you've improved. Yeah, that's, that's a nice <laughs> one. <laughs> that's a bit of oak that's, that's about 200 years old, that oak. So it's super solid, that. So that's, a, that's my refined addition. And then these are kind of traditional ones that you can make nice and quick. It doesn't really matter if you break them or damage them. And what do people use them for nowadays? Um, so we get some wives here that want to... don't like... Don't like their husbands or... <laughs> domestic ex domestic violence becomes yeah, domestic, domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> but they can be door stops or anti-burglar tools. Anti-burglar tools, yeah, right. Things like that. You'd want someone to break him, wouldn't you? Want to one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it worked. <laughs> He was right. Well, you didn't work, get your money back. Yeah, yeah. come back next year. <laughs> it didn't work. Handy things to have around the house, really. You never know what you need to bash. <laughs> we had someone earlier buy two for his grandkids because they just like to bash pots and pans and make lots and of noise. And each other. Yeah. Oh, well, you never know. <laughs> so now I've done that stage, I've sort of got my handle in there somewhere. Yeah, but you just chop your handle off. I have done, yeah. When you first yeah. started. I can go sometimes too small, yeah. I once made a pumpkin, you know. Yeah, a and then I Yeah, I was doing this. All right. We went to do what you're doing now, and I yeah. holded it for somebody, uh, and I was, it went straight down what there. Was that? Or what was that, a saw? It was a knife. They just used the shop. So they were making a mushroom, which is obviously quite a hard trick to Basically make. doing exactly what you're doing now. They were the totally knife. inexperienced. We used a piece of wood. That sounds frightening. <laughs> and the people leading the group didn't think there was an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, it's the thing, anything with blades. And yeah, I know. So she rang me up. He said, I'll chop a finger off. <laughs> yeah, I get sometimes kids here wanting to have a go. Last year I bought some hazel and they had a go at hazel weaving. It's nice and safe. Yeah. But I just can't really let the public know this. But they did, the group she was on, they did let them have a go and I couldn't believe it. And it was wet, wood. Oh, yeah. Which is obviously even harder. Yeah, tricky, yeah. <laughs> so this is called a fro, this tool. So I've got a big fro for doing the bigger twatters. And then a little fro here for little twatters. And it just takes off the chunk of the wood. So when I come to using the axe, I've already got through most of it. 
can go to the axe now and refine it. And each one feels different in your hand. Yeah. So if someone's going to buy one, I encourage just to pick one yeah. up and see which one yeah. feels powerful. Yeah. Because I think different people suit different twatters. So you could just use it as a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's kind of each one has a different quality. So oak is really hard wearing. Yeah. But you'll get a lot of shock through your hand if you bash it really hard. Whereas like willow or, or hazel, the softer wood is nice on the hand. Yeah. So how is your YouTube channel going? I think it's really well. Yeah. It gets um, a lot of views and a lot of interaction on it oh, as amazing. well. Yeah. So this is what you do, you go and engage with people you yeah, find anything. interesting and then... So we just sat off in the, in the car yeah. and we don't... We might think, oh, we want to go to a certain place. Yeah. We might set that, like in the sat nav, she tries to read off the map as much as she can as well. Oh, okay. So we might say, so we've got the back up, especially if we're sort of like in a really busy city. Yeah. So I'm not driving us safely basically yeah. most of it's just done by map and we'll set off to where we want to go on the back roads oh, fun. not the motorway Amazing. and then we'll just see something and we'll stop yeah see what inspires yeah. you yeah so we, we've actually come here for um britain's smallest house oh yeah just down there yeah but we, then we saw this so now we're no with you idea this was on no oh, not at all gosh you're really following the universe so, then yeah we it does it we does it that keeps life interesting we might go on a boat trip and then see what happens after that you as many dolphins around here? Uh, yeah, you'd get them out in the sound, like in the bet between Anglesey and us here. So that Anglesey's the island off North Wales. They like swimming through that when the currents are rough. Yeah. So we're on chance today. All oh, right. Well, we'll have a go then. I've seen them off the coast of Llandidno before, which is far from here. So what do you play? What music? Uh, well. I don't really like stick myself to something specific. Yeah. Sort of like, I don't know, pop, country, uh, stuff like that. Just anything got really. Got a CD out. Yeah. We're hoping to get another one out by the end of the year. Oh, nice. We have to go. The problem is going to a recording studio. Yeah. When you go to a recording studio, it costs a lot of money. And you only get one song out, and sometimes you don't even get that out. So. Right. It's, um, it's you, like, you with a band or you? Tend no, to just be on your own, myself. Yeah. Oh, fair play. That's uh, that's cool. Getting there now, getting to the shape of the handle. I came today with no stock, so I've been at this since 8 o'clock, just trying to build up my stock. Oh, I thought you meant no logs, and then you mean Yeah, I just came with a basket yeah, of logs, yeah. And how much are you selling them for? The bigger ones are tenner, and then if the kids want them, I just do them for five of the little ones, yeah. My granddad's stall with all the plants next door to me. So he's the one who gets me into this. Nice. You've got a real lion tant, they're rare. Okay. A real lion tant, is that yours? Oh, that's um, granddad's, yeah, he's trying to sell it. They're rare now, aren't they? Uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's not running, I don't think, but he's oh. trying to. I think he's trying to get me to have it. You're not going to get rid of it, you should keep it yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I've just last week bought a Mark II Polo, so oh, have you? I'm uh, doing old cars and going around with the road atlas, so like, yeah. saying not going on motorways. And... Well, we do with our other one, but not as far as this. So if it's like a 30 mile radius, we have an Austin 1100 and we do the same. Oh, but we don't go this sort of distance. We have a Nissan Micra, which oh, is cool. obviously the next classic anyway. Yeah, which what Modern age is classic. That? Is that that's, the K11? Yeah, it's yeah. now... Um, that's, that's 22 years old. Yeah. So we are going round in a classic, really. Yeah, I had one of them. They're lovely. They're brilliant. I took it's one absolutely of them to brilliant. Mongolia. Did you? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I bet it didn't let you down. No. no. It was brilliant. Uh, yeah. If we'd have all stuck to them 20 years ago, then we would have. Well, that's the thing. If it was about the environment, we'd be saving everything, yeah. wouldn't we? Yeah, if that we was the truth, we'd be saving everything. And we'd be making basic cars like them again. Yeah. Instead of these car companies knocking out fancy cars every year. They, you know, you ha they close their own boot and they do all that sort of yeah. thing. So imagine all the mechanism for that. Yeah. And it's just all taking our independence from us, isn't it? Yeah. 
our basic skills of closing a boot. So I take it you take cash? I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big thing about it, yeah. keeping your independence. Cash, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We haven't had a problem with it here. They, everybody that we've been to has taken it, you know, like bakeries and... Ah, uh, good, yeah. Do you find it a lot now, people are card only? We went to... Jer we went. Well, that was one of our things as well we did. We went to Jeremy Clarkson's pub. You know oh, that yeah. new pub? Yeah, how was that? Well, <laughs> we, we went in and there was a grand piano, and as I say, she plays the piano. Yeah. So we said, do you mind if I play? No, the tough were lovely. They said, no, no, not at all. So she started that. says, right, I'll go get a couple of drinks. Went and got non-alcoholic drinks, said, what have you got? And they opened them up, these fizzy black currant. And I handed over the cash. And he goes, oh, we don't take cash. Right. No? Oh, and I said, you're joking. Like it, I, I couldn't. I don't know why. I don't know that's why. It. Done. So, yeah, well yeah. done, you. I'm not sure how long that took. Maybe 10 minutes or so. That's fine. Right, I can have a good yes. chat. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's really Welcome. good. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Do you want a picture or...